Students, I will quickly want to look at measure of partition. Uh, like I said, uh, we want to also use this to correct an impression, especially when you are looking for a uh, median uh, that happen to be one of the measure of partition as well. So uh, when we're talking about partitioning um, or measure of partition, is simply referred to as uh, the techniques that we normally use to distribute data sets into various equal parts. And of course, uh, the, the measure of partition are not far from quartile, decile, and percentile. So, but the questions on the board, if you look at it, you see that the questions is arranged in descending order. And we will also use this to correct that impression of finding the median of a set of data that is arranged in descending order. In doing this, like I said, this is a quartile. And when we are talking about quartile, we are talking about dividing something into four. So that means our first quartile will be equals to you are dividing it into what? Into four. So your second quartile is just 2n over 4, uh, which is always equals to 2 here, 1, 2 in this will be 2. That is n over 2. And that is why they always say the second quartile is the same thing as median. So the third quartile now will now be equals to 3n over 4. Of course, there's nothing called fourth quartile because fourth quartile, if I put four here, everything will become uh, the, uh, the numbers of the sample. So in the case of this, if you look at the question, it's been arranged in descending order. So to do your cumulative frequency as well, you are going to do your arrangement from down up instead of up down. So in doing this now, the first number here, like I said, uh, no one is going to penalize you even if you use calculator to find one plus one. So always make sure you are always with your calculator so that uh, whatever response you are going to get or your, your whatever answer will be accurate. So for this, one, one plus two, that is three, two plus four, that is seven, seven plus eight, that is 15, 15 plus 11, like I said, 15 plus 11, that will give me 26, plus 9, that will give me 35, plus 7, that will give me 42, plus 4, that will give me 46, plus 3, that will give me, that will give me 49, then plus 1, that will give me what, 50. So you will see that if I had the summation f, which is my n, that's, that will give me what? 50. And likewise, when you are arranging it in ascending order too, we always say the last value here is always equals to summation f. So, but as well as when you are arranging it in the set, when the number is arranged in descending order, you see that this 50 is equals to the final value here. So the next thing now is for us to find our first quartile. So in getting our first quartile, uh, you say your first quartile, the formula for first quartile, once you know the formula for median, you don't need to stress yourself in getting the first quartile. So that will just be the lower class boundary plus first quartile now, that will be n over what? Over 4 minus cumulative frequency before that quartile. So everything to be divided by frequency of that word, of that quartile, multiplied by class size. So in arranging this now, so we can now say, the numbers of n, which is what? Your n is what? Your n over 4 is equals 50 divided by 4. So what is 50 divided by 4? I said there's no crime in pressing your calculator every second. So that will give us 12.5. So when you look here now, where is your first quartile falling to? When you look at it now, where is your first quartile falling to? When you look here, you see that your first quartile at this point is seven. It is not up to 12.5 here. So that means our 12.5 is here. So that means my first quarter is what? Is around this place. 
So with this now, I can say my lower class boundary for this place is what? Is 34.5. Isn't it? Then my cumulative frequency before that first quartile, before that first quartile is what? That is addition of number that I got here is equals to what? Equals to seven. And frequency of that place is what? Is eight. That is the frequency. I said the frequency of the of the quartile class. That is equals to what? That is equals to eight here. So let me pack everything into the formula. So that would be 34.5 plus n divided by 4, that is 12.5 minus cumulative frequency before that place, that is what, 7, everything to be divided by 8, then multiply by class size. My class size, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, that is what, that is 5. So at this juncture now, I can just uh, bring in my mathematics. So that would be 12.5 uh, minus 7. That will give me 5.5. Point, what? 5 point Five to be divided by eight. Don't forget, you have to deal with those one in bracket first. So this is thirty-four point five plus uh, fifty-five five point five divided by eight, and that will give me zero point six nine. Zero point six nine. So I can say zero point six nine multiplied by five, and that will give me three point what? That will give me three point five four. So at the end of the day, 3.45, so 34.5 plus 3.45, and that will give me 37, that will give me 37 point what? 0.95. So my first quarter is what? Is 37.95. So I'm done with my first quarter. I can move on to, of course, like I said, I don't need the second quarter because I want to find intercontinental inter range. And also find the semi intercotal ring. That is that is the target. That's the main target. So I'm going to leave this one. So that means my Q1 now, my first quarter now is 37.95. So I need to put this so that when I want to find my semi intercotal range, I will not be having issue. So uh, I can leave, I can clean the formula as well. So let me move on to the third quarter now. So the third quarter as well. Uh, that will be L1 plus TDN over 4 minus cumulative frequency before the median class. Everything to be divided by what? Frequency of that third quartile multiplied by class size. So that means the first thing I need to do is to find my third quartile. So that will be TD multiplied by 50 to be divided by 4. To be divided by 4. So what is TD multiplied by 50? That is 150 to be divided by 4. So that is 37.5. So where is 37.5? My third quarter now, 37.5. You see that when you get here, it's just 35. It is not up to 37. So my third quarter will be here because this is where I can get 37.5. So if I trace it to the front now, so that means my L1 will be equals to the lower quarter, the lower class boundary of that place. That will be 49. That will be 49 point what? Point 0.5. So, and of course, the cumulative frequency before that place is what? Is 35. So that means my CF, my CFB, cumulative frequency before that quartile is what? Is 35. And the frequency of that place is what? Is 7. The frequency of that quartile is what? Is 7. So let me pack everything into the formula now. My L1, that is 49.5 plus, open the bracket. When I got this, I got 37.5. I'm taking what? What am I taking away from there? Great. I will take 35 away. Then everything to be divided by what? 7 multiplied by what? 5. So this is 49.5 plus, so this is 37.5 minus 35. So that will give me 2.5. 2.5 to be divided by what? By 7 multiplied by 5. So this is 49.5 plus. So 2.5 to be divided by 7. Uh, that will give me 0. Point, uh, let me say 0. 0.36 multiplied by what? 5. So 0. 0.36 multiplied by 5. 
that will give me 1.8. So that means I have 49.5 plus 1.8. So plus 49.5. And that will give me 51. What? Point three. So that means my third quartile now is equal to 51. What? Point three. So at this point now, uh, I can clean all this since I don't need it again. The only thing I am looking for, like I said at the beginnings of the work, so what I'm looking for is that I want to first of all get my uh, intercotter range. My inter my intercotter range my intercotter range is third quarter minus what minus first quarter that is q3 uh minus q1 so q3 minus q1 so what is my q3 which is 51.3 what? Point minus 37.1.95 point what? Point so what would that be my intercotter range now is what 51.3 point minus 37 point nine five and that will give me 13 point what point three five of course that is not where i'm going to i want to find semi intercotter range so if i want to find semi inter semi intercotter range so what is formula for semi intercotter range semi intercotter range is just intercotter range to be divided by two so that means semi intercotter range is Q3 minus Q1, everything to be divided by what? By two. And I've got this before. So which is 13.3 what? 35 to be divided by two. So when I divide 13.35 to be divided by two now, and that will give me six point, that will give me 6.68. So my semi intercotter range is just 6.68. So Without wasting much of our time, uh, we have got the uh, semi intercotter range. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, with this, we have come to the end of the first measure of partition, which we call uh, cotter. And like I said, uh, I know for those of that are joining us for the first time, if you are just joining here, this is Adewale Kayo, the online class. Uh, find it to get notification or to get information anytime we have a video that can assist you, make sure you subscribe to this channel, like the video, and also make sure you share the video with others. So in review of what we have just done, we talk about measure of partition, and we said the measure of partition uh, is partitioning technique that are used to distribute data sets into various equal parts. And one of them is quartile. The next thing we are going to do after this video is to look at the deci. And uh, when we are talking about deci, uh, deci is talking about over 10. Then from there, you move on to percentile, which is talking about over, you divide it into 100. So that means quartile is divided into, into 4, deci is divided into 10, and the percentile is divided into 100. So that is... Uh, that on um, measure of partition that we talk, call about quarter. And at the end of the day, we are able to get our intercotter range and get our semi intercotter range using a set of data that is arranged in descending order. Of course, majority of us, we are familiar with the one that we are arranged in ascending order. So that is that on the measure of partition quarter. Thank you and God bless you all.